Hello and welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, I want us to discuss about family with adopted and fostered children. And if you like, we shall be talking about adoption and fostering of children. This is your presenter, Professor Kibet. Now, in the following section, I want to give some definitions. So in this video, we are going to cover adoption, which actually refers to an act of a person, usually a couple, legally taking a child to their care and fostering on the other hand, refers to the act of caring for children without legalizing the parent-child relationship. In the following section, therefore, I want us to look at the conditions for adoption. If you are preparing to adopt a child, what is expected of you? One, a person adopting a child should be married. That is number one condition. You cannot adopt a child if you are not. Number two, they should also be citizens or should have resided in that country or your country for at least 12 months. They must also be over 25 years of age, but less than 65 years old, and at least 20, 21 years older than the child they are adopting. The child to be adopted should be at least six weeks old, six weeks old. Legally, a three-month profession period should be allowed before adoption is legalized to allow the natural mother time to be sure of her decision. After adoption is legalized by a court, mostly a juvenile court, the adopting parents become legally responsible for the child in every way. They give the adopted child their surname and are to care for it just as their own. Henceforth, the natural parents no longer have any claim to that child. Now, on the other hand, what is fostering of children? In most Western countries, particularly in Britain and the United States, Social Welfare Service Departments take in children who are considered to receive inadequate care. Such children may be taken to live with foster parents. Foster parents are people who are willing to care for children at least temporarily while their situation is being sorted out. The foster parents do not have any legal rights over the children. In fact, the social department is supposed to keep an eye on these children while under the foster care. Consequently, a foster child can be taken back at any time, either to return home if conditions at home improve, go to another foster family, or go into a children's home. The last two options may be taken if the first foster home does not offer adequate care or if the fostering parents are not willing to continue offering the service. However, if the fostering parents would like to adopt the child, they can apply to do so after five years. In many societies, particularly among Africans, fostering is done quite, quite informally. Many individuals and couples take on the responsibility of caring for children whom they may or may not be related to. The children may be opened or may just be needy. Fostering parents or parents on their part 
may have or not have other children. Whatever the circumstances, fostering parents are expected to provide the same kind of care that they provide or would, provi or would provide to their children. This marks the end of my presentation about adoption and fostering of children. If you like this presentation, kindly subscribe, you can like, or you can share it to a friend. Thank you.